What up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Let's talk about it. This is Greenleaf Season 3, Episode 2. All right, an equally good episode as the one last night. I don't want to waste any time. I got lots of notes, so let's go ahead and get into it. Start off with Bishop tossing and turning. He's in the guest bed. So he gets up and he tries to go get in the bed with May, and honey, May is not here for it. She said, you're trying to do this, pull this one over on Clara Jackson, not the kids, and not us. So bye, nigga. He goes to sleep on the couch when he leaves out of the room he runs into Gigi and he tells her you know they'll be back to normal in a week and she's like you know do you really think that's gonna happen and he like girl I'm gonna go to bed I'm tired okay I'm tired girl the next day Gigi calls Rochelle and she tells her you know per our talk the last time I do have a project that I might need an angel for and so they set up a meeting Sophia comes in the room and is like, why you got that fake voice on you used when you talking to daddy? And she like, girl, I'm trying to make a new friend. Jacob and Clarissa are getting ready for a meeting they're having at Triumph. They going over things they need to know for the meeting. Zora comes into the room and they canoodle in a little bit. And Zora asks to use the phone to call Sophia to apologize. So, you know, Clarissa tells Jacob, go and let her use the phone. But when she tries to call, he stops her and is like, no, girl. You got to use the phone right here, sis. Like, you're not going to your room to use the phone. To which Zora's like, never mind. She kind of walk out of the room looking kind of sad. And uh, Clarissa is like, just let her use the phone. You know, we know who she going to be calling. He like, girl, it's only been like two days, three days. And she was ran away, girl. We got to let her know we serious. And she like, oh, she knows that we're serious. She don't know y'all serious, okay? I'm personally with Jacob on this one. They need to be keep a tight leash on her because that child is out of control. So Lady May and Bishop are having breakfast and they're, you know, talking about this. I guess it's like a couple's retreat or something that's going on. It's about 30 couples have signed up. Gigi comes downstairs and she's like, oh, you know, well, that's great. And, you know, Lady May is like, great how? And she's like, well, it's great that you still have something good to say about marriage. And, you know, then Bishop say something about, you know, people don't care if the past is a sin of X, Y, and Z. She like, look at you. Look at what you started. You need to mind your business and worry about what you doing up the street with this Negro. And she's like, what you talking about, girl? Don't act like we don't see you creeping and sneaking up in here in the middle of the night, girl. You out here doing it you can do it but it's unbecoming of a pastor to be out here doing what you're doing okay so gg just get up and leave child bishop and may go to church and they are doing the absolute most honey i mean the absolute most hey hey everybody good morning god bless you all right god is good all the time okay girl he is a healer he healed me they run into the finance lady and she's like girl i don't know what to tell you you know i'm glad you're feeling better or welcome back because you know i got two different stories about where you was at and may is like well you know i was sick and i was out of town too like, but god is a healer girl he he rolls me up <laughs> you know what i'm saying she ain't believing that she ain't falling for it so they go into the office and they tell the secretary to go ahead and call clara right because they need to get this money from clara okay they want to set up a dinner with her and even the secretary is looking like y'all doing the most she's like oh thank you pastor you open the door oh my lord thank you so much like child it was extra it was extra as hell i was like y'all doing the absolute most right now so Gigi and rochelle have their meeting and um she wants to start a legal fund for victims of domestic violence and you know rochelle is like you know we can raise fifty thousand dollars i'm gonna ask all my clients and you know x y and z and she's like you know i'm glad that i can work with women you know that's like-minded you know some women see other women as a threat and all of this and that so Gigi, you know she walks out of Gigi's office and Gigi is looking like girl you know what I'm saying I see you I see you we see each other Rochelle runs into <laughs> runs into Bishop and she says she just wants to tell him a casual hello she knows she's supposed to be giving him space and she tells him about the meeting that she had with Gigi he's like oh that's great you know and she tells him that he should maybe he should rent a long-term suite at the Billmore because you know the nightly race gonna get you you know and he tell her no girl I'm good I'm back at the house and she like oh congratulations uh he like, well, you know, keep up the good work. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. Homegirl was pressed as hell. She like, I I'm doing full court press on this old man. Why he ain't taking this force? Then Rochelle runs into Lady May, and she asks about Zora. Now, this ain't supposed to be her business. How do she know this? So Lady May immediately perked up like, excuse me what are you talking about she says i know running off is never a solution or whatever and lady may was like i don't know either girl i've never tried it you know i usually stand and fight we see you all the shade that was flying between the two of them was just it was beautiful it was wonderful it was amazing like i love the writers of this show they really be shading okay the subtle church shade I, i'm here for it but she said, you know, she keeping she keeping Zora on her, you know, lit. I mean, no, she said she's lifting. She keeping Zora lifted, and all the green leaves, you know, they on her list. I don't. 
feel. Now we with Charity and Jabari. They talking about, you know, he got a replacement for her for the night show, but she gonna be back on Wednesday. She said, I'm gonna be there on Wednesday morning. Nope, don't worry about it. Tasha and Jacob meet about the name. So some of the people, you know, that's coming to the meeting, they have all these strange names and they get a little giggle on, you know, and they got a little chemistry going because she walk out the room and she do a little smile, you know. I'm, I can't stand Tasha. She is, ugh, ugh. I can't stand these hoes. My thing is, why are you going so hard for a man who just jumped up and left you? Out your own mouth, you said he couldn't even buy you nothing without taking it two days back, taking it back two days later. So I'm confused as to why you going so hard for this man. He jumped up and left you. He ain't nowhere to be found. He probably got a whole new woman by now. Clarissa meets with some parents about a bee some boy named Jeremy got. And, you know, they want her to fix the grade because they feel like he deserves the A. And then they give her the paper child and make her read the whole letter. So by the time she gets to the church for the meeting, the meeting is over. Tasha has been doing the meeting with Jacob. And, you know, one of the people that's there at the meeting, they think that Tasha is the first lady and not Clarissa. Now, this hurt Clarissa feelings. You know, Jacob, he's so... Child, he's so... He get on my damn nerves. He's so damn dumb, okay? So he just, he not even thinking about what's going on. He like, you know, you are the first lady. I love you. I know you've been busy. I know you're working a lot. And when they done with the meeting, he asked her to look over some budgets. Do you have time? And she's like, I don't have time right now. I got to go pick up Zora, Zora. And, you know, maybe we could look at it tonight. Still being super understanding of her. Jacob is, like I said, he in a whole nother world. Everything just going over his head. He's so dumb. So Charity and Kevin are arguing once again about him letting her see this baby child. I am over it, about her leaving the baby with him. She said she had made sacrifices while they was together, and after he left, he says yes. So, okay, she said she's going back on tour. This is her dream. He said, I want you to go back, but I do want you to leave the baby with me. And why drag him around, you know, with you? It's just not even good for an adult. It wouldn't be good for a child either. And um, he said, I'm his father. And she can see her kind of soften up. He was like, he'll be okay. So Tasha brings Jacob the payroll report and he tells her, he sees that she sees that he is shopping. So she like, who are you shopping for? I'm shopping for Clarissa. And he was like shopping online for clothes. And she was like, well, what about some jewelry? You know, I could take you to my shop and you know, um, that's how my jeweler do it. You know, we could drink some champagne, X, Y, and Z. I'm like, you about to get yourself in trouble, Jacob. Here you go with this bull. Bishop and May are having dinner with Clara. And she's, she said she came to the house, but you know, something just don't feel right. Once again, the shade was flying between them two, child. It was unbelievable, okay, the shade they were saying. And then she was like, oh, no, it's just the paintings, girl. You changed the paintings. And, you know, my husband would have died if I changed anything in the house. And then she started talking about how she missed her husband. Clara was so in her feelings, child. She wasn't even catching all this shade that was going on between them. But I bet home, girl, in the finance department, she would have caught all that shade, baby. Uh, she said she just missing her husband. She asked them how long they had been together. They say 44 years. Um, It'll be 45 years soon so um like i said clara's in her feelings she tells them that they are so blessed and they like you know we know we know i said y'all a mess for trying to run game on this old lady like this they take her money okay at the jeweler tasha picks out this necklace it's like a pearl necklace with gold inlay in between now, i really thought it was ugly i'm just gonna be honest with you it was ugly as hell but she tries it on and she's like oh my god just let me take a picture with it so he take a picture of her with the necklace on and he purchases the necklace i don't even really thought the necklace was cute but he just bought the necklace. Like I said, he easily influenced child. You could blow on his ear. He'll do <laughs> he'll do anything you tell him to. I mean, he he blow like the wind, child. You can he just he horrible. He's a mess. And he asked her about Basie buying her nice things, and she says, Well, yeah, he bought me nice things all the time, but a couple of days later he'll be like, you know, I had some gambling thing I had to get into, so you know he would have to take it back. So he takes a picture of her, like I said, and then he purchases the necklace. Charity and Clarissa talk at the house, and she's talking about how, you know, Kevin and this and that and the other, and you can tell she's still mad, and she like, he could take me to court. I don't care. And, you know, Clarissa's like, well, you did say he was a good father. I know you don't like the situation, but you said he was a good father. And Zora is there with Sophia. We see that when Jacob comes home, he asks about Zora, and she's upstairs with Sophia. And uh, Clarissa is telling Charity, don't be spiteful. You know, don't miss out on your dreams because you're being spiteful. And so then we go to Zora and Sophia upstairs. And she asks her, you know, they having a fun time. They laughing. They giggling. Girl talk. And then she says, you know, here, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to give me a prepaid phone. I'm about to go crazy in here, you know. She trying to run game on Sophia. But Sophia has smartened up. And learned her lesson. And what you're not going to do today is get me involved in your mess no more. So, Sophia tell her, no, sis, I ain't going to be able to help you, girl. I don't know what you're going to do, but I ain't going to be able to help you. Back 
at dinner with Clara, she say, listen, it's time to go. You know, it's getting late. And they decide to go ahead and tell her the truth. Well, you know, one of the reasons we asked you to come over here is because we have a tax bill. Oh, you have a bill? Yes, yeah, the same bill that we had before. Mac was supposed to take care of it, but he didn't take care of it. And they ask her for help. You know, the church needs help. She said, well, that's a lot of money even for me, you know. But, um, you know, they, they, they kind of appeal to her sensibilities, and we don't see her answer right away. At the same time, Gigi is with Rick Fox. I don't even know his name no more. We just going to call him Rick Fox, okay? And um, they're talking about the relationship between Rochelle and the bishop. And then he says, well, do you think the bishop is leading this woman on? Could you consider that as a possibility? And, you know, Gigi kind of, she was like, he would never do that. He would never do that. And he was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm just saying. And so she says she about to go home. And he's like, why are you about to go home? She was like, my mama need to get off my back. She's talking to me about my sexual currency and all this and the other. And he was like, well... You know, um, do you want your mama to think we not having sex? Because we just got finished having sex. She was like, uh, you know, kind of. He was like, well, why don't you just stay then and don't be a hypocrite. Don't be like the rest of them. Don't be like that. And she kind of like, you could tell she got a little mad. She was like, you know what? Thank you. And he was like, thank you for what? And she said, for making it easier for me to leave. Like, my thing is... I understand what he's saying, but he's so, like, negative towards her family. And at the end of the day, that's her family. So, you know, she going to pick them over him any day because we see how Gigi rock. So it's just like, y'all not equally yoked, sis. Y'all ain't going to make it. I can tell you right now, they just not going to make it. Jacob comes into Zora's room, and he puts the TV back in the room. He said that Sophia convinced them that they could trust her. So Zora goes to watch TV, child, and every damn channel is restricted. She still can't watch nothing. So she just fall back in the bed like, this life is for the birds, okay? Um, I hope this doesn't make her more you know, more resistant to doing the right thing by them being so strict on her or whatever. But it's like you can't give the girl no freedom because you give her in, she take them out. So it's kind of like one of them cash-22s because Zora is pure trash at this point. She is trash, T-rash, you hear me? When we get back to Clara, she's agreeing to give them the money. She said, you know what, I'm going to talk to my person, you know, and we're going to give you the money or whatever. So Bishop is all happy and he turned around and talked to May about going on a trip for their 45th anniversary and, um... May is like, what did you tell her? And he's like, who? What you talking about, Clara? He was like, no, Rochelle, did you tell her about Zora? And he was like, I mean, I might have said something. You know, I don't, I don't remember. And he was like, and she was like, when did you tell her this? He was like, I, the, see what had happened was. Now, let me, let me break it down for you. You told, this her, you told her this at the Billmore after I put you out the house. So that's who you ran to? That's who you want to be with? That's who you ran to talk to? He was like, you know what? I'm tired of you. You always create, you creating something that's not even there. I'm not even messing with this woman. And what about you? You always hiding by how strong you are, but you the most fragile woman I ever met in my life, and you won't even consider your own sinfulness. And then he was like, good night. I was like, ooh, ooh. Back to Clarissa and Jacob. She says, you know, is he going to tell her where he was all night long? Why he got alcohol in his breath? And he tells her, you know, he knows how hard she works and she's been real busy late, lately. And he wants to let her know that she the first lady and she his first lady. And he pulls out the necklace and um, he puts it on her neck and she really likes it. And she's like, you can meet me in my bedroom. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. To put that on him to thank you for that little ugly necklace, okay? And so as he's walking to the bedroom, I think he deleted the picture. I couldn't really see if he saved it. Or he deleted the picture. But I hope he deleted it for his own... Listen, for his own good. Because when Clarissa find that picture in his phone, it's going to be some consequences and repercussions, honey. It's not going to be a good thing. Oh, my God. Gigi goes to talk to Bishop. He watching TV. And she said, you know, mom upset. She upstairs crying. And he was like, well, you know, I, you know, like, girl, I ain't got time for you to be coming up in here with all this drama. And she was like, listen... She do have a right to ask questions. Rochelle be coming in and up out of your office every day, okay? Like, mama have the right to answer questions, especially after what you did with Mavis. Mavis, that's the sister name. And he was like, you know, ain't nothing going on between me and Rochelle. And she's like, okay, well, then let her go. And he didn't want to let her go. And he said, well, if you so intimidated by this woman being in the office or it's such a problem for you, why are you working her for, working with her? And she was like, well, because we need to get something out of it. You know, she up in here every day. We might as well get something. And so he, he the, um, you know, he deserves or her mother deserves some R-E-S-P-E-C-T, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, R-E-S-P-E, you better respect me. And he was like, you know what, girl? Your mama slept with Lionel. She had a whole affair with Lionel. Boom. And good night. <laughs> he said, excuse me. 
Bishop said he tired, baby. He tired. And he gonna spill the tea. Gigi, then she walk upstairs and go talk to me. She pissed. As soon as she hit the door, she like, Mama, did you have a affair with Lionel? Mama say she ain't got no right to ask her no questions. Then she said, you need to stop blaming everybody for everything that's happened. All the stuff you let happen under this roof. She said, she tired, baby. She done. She done feeling mad. She done being sad. She done feeling dirty. And she done do it, feeling wrong. Done. Done. Like, when she acted that scene, I didn't really feel like, done. You know what I'm saying? I wish she had put a little bit more stank on it. But, you know, we get the point. Lady May just stumped her looking stupid. The problem I have with Lady May is she does refuse to acknowledge her own sinfulness. Like, every time she says she slept with Lionel, she had an affair with him, it's like she making an excuse for her behavior. Well, you really broke my heart, so that's why I did what I did. It's like, girl, you did what you did, girl. You you, you did it, okay? You might as well admit to it. So at this point, y'all should just call it even and move on because it's all in the past. So how you gonna hold him like this? And he ain't do that to you. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do that to you when he found out what you did. So why are you doing this to your husband? Like, girl, y'all been married for a thousand years. If y'all also go sit down somewhere and work this out, anybody got time for this? So Charity goes to see Kevin's house, and um, it looks really nice. He got it all set up for the baby. He got the crib, and he want her to send him the playlist. Everything is going good until, is his name Eric? I can't remember what his name was, but boyfriend come through with some groceries, shy. And she like, do he live here? And he like, no, I'm just visiting in town for a few days. And Charity had this look on her face like, here we go again with this BS. So then we see her calling Jabari. She like, I can't come. You know, I'm not coming. And he like, girl, this is your dream. Like, why are you doing this? And she's like, it's just a job. You know, we still have us. And that nigga hung up on her. I said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you about to ruin your whole opportunity because your ex-husband got a boyfriend. And you got a boyfriend too. I don't understand what's the problem. Both of y'all got a man. What is the issue? Would it have been different if it was a girl? Like, I'm confused about why she will not let this go. Her spitefulness is going to cause her to lose her baby 50% of the time. Like, you know, I, I don't see no problem with Kevin seeing the baby. I'm sorry. I don't see no problem with that. He, they, like she said, he a good father. He loved his son. What is the deal? Like, what is the tea, girl? Do you do not like gay people? Like, is that what it is? Because you was going so hard for the gay choir director of season one. But now you act like it's a problem because his boyfriend coming over there. But you got a boyfriend, too. And if you would have took the baby on tour, your baby would have been around the boyfriend. So I'm confused as to what is the issue, Charity. She is aggravating. Gigi and Rochelle um, finished up their little meeting. And she asked about Bishop and, you know, is something going on. Immediately, Rochelle gets all upset. And, you know, I just thought a woman of my generation would be able to think differently. And we just had this talk and whoop, whoop, whoop. And she gets up and storms out the office. Now, when she storms out, she pauses for a second and she smiles. And then we see Gigi in the office pausing for a second and smile too. So Gigi knew when she asked that question, she was trying to get rid of Rochelle, make her leave, okay? Like, did y'all catch that? I definitely caught that. So, um, but Rochelle said, I see you. Like I said, you see me, we see each other. So she comes back in the office. She like, girl, you know we gonna work together because this is the Lord's work, okay? This is what we gonna do. And you stuck with me now. So, you know, she couldn't get rid of her. So now she here to stay. Now, at the end of the episode, May busts into the office, and she says um, to Bishop, you had an affair with my sister. You running around with this. You haven't clarified to me, like, how many times you slept with my sister. I know it was once before we got married, at least once after, but I have a feeling it was going on for a very long time. You haven't clarified with me what's going on with this Miss Cross woman running in about your office. You at the Billmore Hotel staying with another woman, and now you done told my secret the only secret I had to my daughter, and the only reason I did it was because you left me so brokenhearted. Like, girl, bye. As soon as we get this clear, this IRS stuff clear, and everything is fine, I'm divorcing your black ass. I said, wait a minute. Not, not in the church. Oh, my God. She is cussing in the church house, Jesus. My Lord. Okay, they got some problems going on in Greenleaf, honey. Okay, it's, this is a mess, honey. This is this is this season done started off hitting real good. Okay, I don't really have no predictions other than Gigi gonna break up with her boyfriend. I can guarantee you that. Um, I'm here for Sophia. For Sophia, my favorite character on this whole show, pretty much because Sophia ain't she ain't here with for the shits. I'm just gonna be honest. With she she don't have time for it. She loves the Lord. He heard her cry, and she ain't got time for it. She ain't got time. 
Okay, Charity is aggravating. She gets on my nerves. Let that boy see his baby, and everybody can move on and, you know, just live a regular life. You can live your dream. He can see his baby, and everybody gonna be happy. Like, I don't understand. What is the tea, girl? You got a whole man, girl. Like, I'm confused, sis, as to why you're so mad. Okay, so she get on my nerves. I feel like Clarissa gonna have a little, you know, self-doubt. That's how she might slip up a little bit because you can tell she a little off her game, especially when somebody mistake Tasha for being the first lady or whatever. And But once she find out, she gonna be all right. Jacob in La La Land, child. He need to worry about getting some money up in his church to get his daughter to stop stealing. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. He, he just, he just... He's such a dummy. He been a dummy since the first episode, y'all. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Jacob is a blank check. Okay, he a blank check. Straight up. Um, yeah, and I think this Lady May and um Bishop thing is tied. Okay, it's tied and through. Both of y'all old as dirt. Both of y'all had affairs. Let it go. Move on. Get your money. You know, have your empire or whatever. Or just be like regular old people who just sleep in two different rooms and stay married forever. Good child, anybody. Girl, what, who you going what, to... What you going to do? I remember when I was young, my grandma used to tell my grandfather the time, I will leave you. I will leave you. I'm like, y'all are a thousand years old. Where you going? Where are you going? They ain't even sleep in the same room. She's just a yell from the living room. Where are you going, ma'am? You're not going nowhere. So... All in all, I thought it was a good episode. Very good. So I want to hear your thoughts on the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with all your friends. If you want to get my videos on time, honey, as soon as I post them, you can go ahead and hit that notification bell, okay? I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I know I got a little rush of subscribers after my James Caldwell video. So hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome to the family, okay? If you want to follow me on social media, you can at who is April Dawn at who is April Dawn. That's on Twitter. That's on Instagram and that is on what is the other one? Snapchat. Okay? So let me know if I missed anything from the show and I'll holler at y'all next week. Peace.